Well, hello friends. Welcome to Maria's Masani. We're in this video. I'm sharing with you this project. I'm so excited. Eh, maybe it doesn't seem so exciting to you. It's super simple, really. But what's exciting to me is that um, I found a way to use some of the small pictures in this big book of flower gardening. Um, if you watch my Th thrifty Thursdays, you will recognize this book as one of the ones that I recently thrifted. I could not leave behind because there are just so many beautiful gardening books and this is one of them which will probably end up someday turning into a journal of some sort. But um, so far oh, what I was doing uh, while I was hanging out with hubby last night was just ripping out some pages and look won't these make lovely pages in journals. And um, I think one of them I actually folded into an envelope somewhere in here. Uh, but yeah, basically I just was ripping out pages and folding them. And I can't find the one that I folded into an envelope. It's actually the first one I did. But all I did was, you know, just fold it instead of in half. I just folded it like this and folded it this. So I have to glue the sides. It's, it's in here somewhere. Anyway. And then uh, some, see, here you go. Some I did not fold because I couldn't decide. Look how beautiful these are roses. I couldn't decide what I'm going to do with this, if it's going to be folded this way, like inside a traveler's notebook, or if I'm going to do something else with these pages right here. So I have not folded them. Look how pretty, but I did tear them out of the book. And then we had, this is like the front page, like the the inside papers they're like so yummy okay so you know as i was ripping these pages out i came across these pages in the back where they you know it's just a listing of a whole bunch of the flowers and their basic information and i'm like ooh, that would be so cool to put in front of a seed packet like you to make your own seed packets and I thought, oh, I'm going to do that. I'm so cool. So, you know, it's very easy to just make a little envelope out of a piece of, you know, paper and stuff. But I remembered, actually, as I kept flipping, I came across some smaller ones. Hold on a second. Right here. Same thing, but smaller. You see how these are smaller than these, right? And then I thought, I wonder if those would fit on some coin envelopes because uh, months ago now I had purchased from Walmart so it's not like a thrifted item or anything it's just you could go right now go to Walmart and for a couple of bucks get a box full of like I don't know like 50 or 100 of these little you know coin envelopes and I haven't really done much with them at all hardly and um, I thought, oh, if they fit on here, that would be awesome. So they didn't perfectly fit. As you can see, the name, I cut it off of the top and I put it in the middle because it was actually too long to fit in here. But I was able to get it to work out. So this is, this is my prototype, the first one I've made. So I'm going to go ahead and make a couple more with you guys. The only problem with this is that these are on both sides, so you have to pick which one you like better, right, in order to, to do this. So actually, believe it or not, for this one, I picked the the bunches of roses instead of the single rose. And I'm kind of maybe regretting it, but I already decided to do that. And um, the way it makes a difference is that this is the name that was on top, right? So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one because it's already all set. And as you can see, I just tore around and I'm not worried about, you know, that being perfect or anything. Because again, this is going to go into our uh, lovely journals, which will more than likely be distressed already. So let me grab my book. This is the book that I've just been gluing stuff on. Um and also distressing so now these are very white these pages so I decided I would just go ahead and take my vintage photo and just really not just distress on the edges although yeah I want to do that like kind of darker on the edges and I'm sorry that you are shaking but my little camera arm is attached to the table so I apologize for the shaking but uh, I'll try not to do it too hard here okay so I definitely wanted a little darker on the edges but then I also just want to cover the whole thing because I just want to lighten it I don't want it to be so white you know all right so now that that's done I'm just gonna turn it over 
and there's a glue stick and just glue oh it's so sad to glue over that pretty flower but you know what there's tons of pretty pictures in this book that i'm using so just glue 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 and stick it on here and then you have oops, kind of center it you know i'm eyeballing it it's like not not a science or anything here this is just fun and this is coming up a little bit let me put some more glue there okay and then I'm also going to go ahead and distress the envelope itself you know just by rubbing the ink on it on the outside I wonder if I have to re-ink these stamp as it seems to have to keep going back and forth a lot okay it's okay like that and all over just because that's what I want to do and I want to do it on this too on the flap and simple as that and that's it so I mean I'm not gonna take your time You're just watching me ink here you get the idea I might go back and ink a little bit more but there it is a little seed packet right okay so there's the first one I showed you already done you saw me finish this one I'll go ahead and do one from scratch with you guys I mean I think you get the idea it's so super simple but why not uh, um, if you know if you get the idea and you don't want to watch anymore hey you know nobody's stopping you from turning off the video but um, if you want to watch me do this from the beginning I'm gonna go ahead and do this so um, I went ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and first uh, the other one I tore the whole page but I'm just gonna do this one on the side and um, I like to use this metal ruler and I've seen a lot of people do it recently I've been watching Nicole from Relax Cut Glue she definitely does this and her technique just helped me out here you just get uh, close to where you want it and exactly where where you put it it's gonna tear and it's like it comes out so perfect but of course with the torn look to it so I'm gonna do that all around and I am really tearing like right close to the information of the image where I want it and I'm doing that all around and I don't know that it has to be I don't necessarily think it has to be a metal ruler that you use but the metal ruler is nice because it's um very flat on the page here and <laughs> hefty so you push down on it and it just stays you know pushes down all around now here again if I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here so you'll see why I had to do it the other way whoops you do have to push down see what you what happens if you don't push down on your ruler okay see I couldn't just do it like this because see too tall too tall for the envelope so all I did was just go to the picture there and it left the name perfectly there and guess what it fits perfectly right here in the middle because there's like nothing there it's just white space and I, I actually like it better like this I think so I'm gonna go ahead and again on this blue thing was this double the light escapade I think this was double the light because I just flipped it over and if not I'm gonna be lying on my seed packet but it's okay it still looks pretty so there you go and now I'm gonna glue it onto the actual seed packet which it which is aka coin envelope from Walmart and really this these cost pennies you know by the time you buy the box you know the big box of them for a couple of bucks so there it is now you know what I forgot to do is ink before gluing it but that's okay because you know what I'm gonna ink around it anyway so uh, okay that's the next page that isn't glued <laughs> so I'm gonna ink around it anyway so let me just saturate my my little brush really good here and just start inking you know try not to shake the table too much for you I might even go with my darker color just to make it easier 
And that is pretty much it. The simplicity of this is just, you know, amazing to me. Uh, so simple and so cute. So if you don't, so if you have a gardening book like this and maybe you didn't know what to do with these little pictures or maybe you're just making tags or something, here's another idea. You make little seed packets out of them. And um, I'm going to make a bunch of these with the little ones. The larger ones, um, again, I could do the same thing and just make my own envelopes out of um, craft paper or out of regular paper. Um, or even book paper would be cool. Making like these envelopes out of book paper, right? And, and then just decorate it. That might even look cooler than the coin envelope. Just grab the coin envelope because it's convenient. You know, it's already made and it's already the right size. As long as I adjust the title like that. So check it out. Quick little project. I'm having fun with it. I hope that you found it helpful. Have you done something like this? I mean, I'm sure it's not a very original idea, but it just it's just something that came together with the items that I had on hand. So I wanted to share with you. All right. Well, once again, I thought that I hope that was helpful and I hope that you have a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. Please, you know, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. <laughs> all right. Take care. Bye-bye.